So uh, three match war out there. Take us through the series and what it, what it took to get the job done. Yeah, well, first match, I came out firing early uh, to my offense really easy. And I was kind of just sitting in a win for the rest of the time. And then the second match, you know, he's he's a really boring wrestler. He doesn't do anything at all. But they, we got to, like, we want criteria with nothing but, like, step outs and um, passes from both of us, you know. Really shut it down. And then that last match, it was really just small things. I knew I was going to win, but I knew it was going to be a really close match. He's really good at keeping any match close like that. So it was just, you know, having a short-term memory right after that. I mean, that match was literally, we, I mean, we had to wait on the time, whatever that is, to get back into it. So it was really close to that. Can you talk about the opportunity to represent the country now at the World Championships, what that means to you? Uh, it's amazing, man. I love all of this country. So I'm always happy to represent it in any way I can. I was um, actually represented like two years ago on the Greco side. Yeah, but I'm done with that, so I'm, I'm real, a lot happier to be able to represent in freestyle this time. Both being uh, Georgia guys, what kind of history do you, did you have together and training and stuff like that? Yeah, uh, results-wise, we've actually only wrestled one time before this, and we were both like really young. I think both like 12U, he got that match, and somehow like the rest of the, rest of the time we've been able to avoid each other, but uh, plenty of training going on between us a lot, especially like my senior year, my junior and senior year, I was training with him a lot before he moved up to Iowa, so um, he's a good friend, he's a good training partner, but uh, bad blood out there anytime, anytime it's time to wrestle, so. You thinking about redshirt? Um, I mean, I'm definitely thinking about it. I'm not really sure what the plan is yet with, we uh, got phase on coming back, so. It all just depends on, you know, whether or not I'm able to be the guy in 74, if I can make 65, a lot of things. So a red shirt is possible, but we'll see. I'm always down to wrestle. Who is more fired up, you or Trent Heidley? <laughs> I don't think anyone's more fired up than Trent. A little psycho, but. Yeah, the uh, way your collegiate season ended probably wasn't how you envisioned. You know, how has that driven you as you're preparing for this? Oh yeah, it's been a, a huge gift, honestly. You know, I was um, like most of my season, other than going to like a big national tournaments in the summer, I just uh, go to like Georgia high school kind of tournaments. So I've been used to having a um, pretty dominant performance for like a lot of my life. So coming into this new college scene, not just in the room, but even in competitions where I'm like cutting massive weight and to not, not be where I want to be, it was really like a really hard hit. But you know, I think it's exactly what I needed. And um, yeah, I've never, I never felt better, honestly. With the season after that, I, was, I wasn't like, I mean happy, but I was very content with what was to come. What do you need to do to prepare for the World Championships? Make sure you're on the medal stand. Uh, I think just keep on wrestling more like freestyle focused positions with um, baseline defense, edge work, just trying to stay active when it gets to like passes and stuff like that because you're going to come across that regardless. Just stuff that wouldn't come up in folk style but are really crucial, one point things, little caution things that happen in freestyle. So I think I have a pretty good uh, like slick, heavy hips feeling that can match up with some of the um, international guys. So I think I'll be all set for that. Great. Thank you, sir. Thank you.